everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and we are pillow chatting today and you will hopefully notice there's something different about my hair. I got what I'm calling unicorn hair. There is some teal and pink mixed in with the purple. It is way more purple than I expected it to be because some of the pink actually like, if you're not looking really close, some of the pink does actually look purple. So it's purple, pink, and teal. And I really like it when it's curly, you can really see the other colors like popping through and it will fade over time. So she really like totally saturated the colors. Somebody's doing work outside, so you're gonna hear that, but I really like it. I was really nervous about this. So when I first went and started doing the blondification where we first went in, bleached it a little bit and got progressively lighter until it was like as blonde as my hair will let me go. The whole point of it for me was to get funky colors eventually. I was gonna do this for my birthday, which happened last week, but their recital was the day before my birthday and I did not wanna have this hair for like recital pictures and I didn't want people like asking me questions <laughs> right during recital stuff. I didn't want it to be a thing. So now I've got my summer hair a little bit later than my birthday, but I'm super excited. I was thinking about it like the week leading up to it and really majorly thinking about chickening out because I'm like, people are gonna look at me, people are gonna stare, people are gonna ask questions about it, some people are not gonna like it. And I just, I don't know, I just really wanted to do it. It's like the hair I, I love and I wanted, I felt like it's really fun and exciting, but I know that people are gonna have opinions about it. So I really was nervous about that part of it. And even this, like putting videos out, I knew my hair was gonna be something that shows up in these videos. If I decide to change it later and decide I don't like it, these videos are still gonna be there. Like you guys are still gonna know that this hair happened, even if I'm like embarrassed about it later, but I just went with it. I was excited about it. And when I was getting the hair done, I realized my nails are also purple. So it's really funny that I matched my hair with my nails and I really like it. I was a little bit surprised how bright and dark it is, but it will fade over time. I'm gonna go back in like eight to 10 weeks. We have something on the schedule, but I can move it up or back depending on how it fades over time. But I'm excited to see how it will look through the progression of fading, because it will end up fading probably all the way out or at least most of the way out. But I like how it looks right now. I'm hoping that it will fade just slightly and it won't be quite so like super saturated. Right now it's like so saturated that it's really dark looking, but I really like it. I thought it was really, um, well done. She mixed the colors in and you can see like some teal stripes here and there. I feel like I'm one of the descendants now though. <laughs> like, their hair is super dark and colorful, um, but I love it. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys will be kind if you don't like it. It's going to be something you see in the next couple months in my videos. So um, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit in this video, but that's not really what this video is about. We are pillow chatting today. So let's go ahead and hop into the pillow chat portion of this video. This is actually going to go up late, so it's not actually going to be on the Friday but I wanted to do a quick pillow chat. The only thing I've done all week is one 30 minute ride, a five minute cool down ride, and then a stretch. So I was on the bike for 35 minutes and then I did a five minute stretch and it was the Little Mermaid ride, which was so good. So they did the new Little Mermaid music and you guys know I love Lin-Manuel Miranda. I love Hamilton. I love all of his stuff that he's done with Disney and this was no exception. He did some of the music for the new Little Mermaid and we're actually gonna go see it in like 10 minutes. So that's why this video is gonna to be super quick but for that 35 minutes I did 9.14 miles and that was the last time that I rode on the bike it has been almost a week that was last Thursday and it is now Wednesday yeah, I haven't done a whole lot my mom's been visiting we've had other appointments we've had other play dates and stuff and at the end of the day, I am so exhausted. So I'm gonna try to change things up next week. I've been sleeping in. I told you guys I was not setting an alarm for like super early and waking up before the kids, but something's gotta give because at the end of the day, I am way too tired to work out and therefore I have not been working out. I love the summer excitement and the summer fun, but I really just need to get that workout in. Like I've been craving it, but at the end of the day, I'm just so exhausted. So I'm going to try to slowly set my alarm earlier and earlier and actually get my ride in first thing in the morning, hopefully, and just knock it out. And then I don't have to worry about it during the day. And at the end of the day, I can just veg out and relax and not have to worry about it. But this is the week where I like totally hit that mark where I'm like, oh man, I am not getting that workout in. It's just not being a priority at the end of the day. And it's really just hard. At the end of the day, when you're tired, it's hard to want to work out. So that was what I ran into this week. It's like the summer fun completely kicked in. We've been going to the pool a lot of days. We've been doing other things. We've had some appointments. Um, it's just been a lot of summer fun and 
the workouts are just falling by the wayside. So I'm gonna try to do better this week, set an alarm, get some of the workouts in first thing in the morning. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to report. I was using my plum paper planner for writing down my one <laughs> workout this week. I'm really excited to try to get back to doing a little bit more um, because this week I felt kind of sluggish and I've definitely noticed I really love that little endorphin hit and I've just been kind of missing it. But at the end of the day, it's just not happening. I can just, our days are too busy for me to even squeeze it in in the middle of the day. So it's just been not working out and something's got to give. So I'm going to make a change for next week and hopefully be back with a much better, bigger update for this. But that Little Mermaid ride was really, really good. It's one I probably will take again. I love the music of it. It was Tunde and I really, really like her. So it was fun to ride with her. By the time I post this, it might already be out, but there's a Lil' Kim artist series coming, which will be really cool. I'll be definitely taking that ride or rides depending on how many they release, but I like Lil' Kim. And so I'm excited for that to come out as well. But other than that not a whole lot going on just summer festivities and I really noticed the struggle this week of being able to squeeze those workouts in but we've really been enjoying the summer I'm trying not to like get down about it like oh I should have done this I'm just rolling with it and I'm gonna try it better but that's all I have to announce for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick pillow chat I will be back hopefully next Friday to have another one since this one's going up a little bit late I will wait and not do one this Friday, I'll do it next Friday. So you can look forward to that. I'll hopefully have much better results to report at that time for you guys, but I hope you're well. Hope your summer's off to a great start and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.